Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here and welcome to Triumph Tuesday. Look what they have pushed out for us today. This is an absolutely beautiful machine, Triumph Tiger Sport 660. One of my favorite motorcycles. I've ridden a couple of these already and I would love to take one of these on a day ride. You know, a couple hundred miles in a day. Just a beautiful machine all the way around. I don't know how to classify its looks. It's you know, it doesn't look like the Tigers over here. It doesn't look like the uh, older bikes. It doesn't look like any of the classic machines. It's really got a look all of its own, but it's an absolutely gorgeous thing. Uh, let's start with what it is. Um, let's start with the class. What, where, where does it fit? And what I think is if you want a, uh, I'm trying to look for one. If you want a sport bike, a real sport bike, and you want something that, uh, you know, handles great, loads of power, but yet you want wind protection, the ability to ride miles and miles and miles in comfort, and uh, just a good all, all the way around bike, kind of like a sport tour bike, but without the weight, this would be the one to get. And I really think that's the uh, an accurate description of what this motorcycle is, a lightweight sport tour bike with loads of power. You know, it's it's got sport bike bones for sure. So uh, let's start with what it is. It's an inline triple. Look at that stainless steel exhaust, liquid cooled. Dual overhead cam, you know, three cylinder, fuel injected, of course, six speed transmission. Uh, absolutely beautiful bike. It's got uh, just about 12 to 1 compression, 80 horsepower stock, 47 foot pounds of torque. That's about 64 Newton meters. The six speed transmission, I already mentioned that. Something you can get with this is a, uh, let's go down here and look at this. <coughs> the shift assist. This is another model, by the way. Shift assist right here. You can get that on this bike. <clears throat> and I've driven a couple bikes with those in the past. Not the 660s, but other models of Triumph, and they're just absolutely beautiful. Uh, so when I think of this bike, there's really three things that jump out to me. First is the engine. It's always the engine on these bikes. The second would probably, it's a kind of a tie between this system here, the weather handling, air management, and this front end. I just love this front end. So um, let's go from that beautiful engine by the way, it's a 240 uh, degree crank. I think that's the one, three, two, you know, firing order. But the, so let's go to the front end. This has got Showa forks. I don't think they're adjustable, but they're a 41 millimeter inverted. They've got this nice fender that covers up the working part. I think it's 150 millimeters of travel, which is a uh, 5.9 inches, I believe. Just a beautiful, neat thing, you know. Um, 17 inch tire. The front tire is a 120 70. And I think these are Michelin, let's look for a mark. Michelin Road 5s, 120 70 17s, yes. Z rated, just a gorgeous thing. Uh, cast wheel, tubeless tire, just a beautiful thing. The front brakes, it's got dual disc front brakes, you can see that there, ABS. 310 millimeters, I believe. Yep, 310 millimeter. Um, looks like a fixed disc with a floating caliper, two piston Nissan caliper. Now I've ridden this bike and I think the brakes are just awesome. Didn't want to cuss there, sorry. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, I was incredibly impressed. This whole system, you know, the, the lighter inverted fork, so the lighter moving mass here, the lighter wheel, the uh, 17 inch tire, all of that just makes, you know, the dual disc brakes, all that just makes for an amazing handling front end. Now, so we talked about the engine, we talked about the front end. Let's talk up here to the, uh, this very important part here, and that's the uh, weather handling. Uh, when I rode this bike, one of the things I tried immediately was this fairing in terms of uh, this thing right here. So low, high. When I had this in the high position, the amount of change, the amount of difference, the amount of uh, wind protection I got was just incredible. When I put it down, it was like a whole different motorcycle. It just, it was a very, you got a lot of wind. It, it just was like almost naked bike-ish, you know, incredibly nice. And you know, it's incremental. There's multiple increments in there and you can adjust it while you ride. So I think this is a, very well done system. Now when you sit on the bike, your legs are tucked in, so your knees are out of the wind, <clears throat> you cut very well. You know, it's even got these lowers on it. 
those are radiator ends, I believe. Yep. So, you know, you get a lot of protection there. It's a, it's a well done thing. And like I said, I've ridden this, so I, I know it's a well done thing. Uh, if I had this bike, I would get the covers over the grips. They make a really nice set of those for this model. Uh, jumping back from there, so we've talked about the engine, the front end, this. Um, let's go to the swing arm. So we've got this double-sided swing arm. It's a monoshock. Uh, I think, yeah, re rebound adjustable right here with this knob, you know, easy to do, easy to adjust. Somebody, you know, you get a passenger, you just turn that knob, you can adjust it. She's got, uh, well, it's 100, and, I think it's 150 millimeters again of travel. It's 5.9 inches. Got this beautiful, beautiful uh, disc brake on the back. I think it's 255 millimeter Nissan. Um, single piston, absolutely great. Chain drive, of course. You know, just like normal Triumph. Look at the quality of that stuff there. Everything looks top notch. Very well done. You, you know, cast metal parts, just beautifully. Now, jumping up from there, let's talk about the seat. And this, I was just talking with one of the salesmen here about this. This is one of the most impressive parts, again, of this motorcycle. Another part of the well done part on Triumph's part. And that's the fact that they've got, not only do they have a lot of seat for the rider, and you've got a lot of room. You can move forward, backwards, left, right, all that neat stuff. Very slim through the center. And we'll get to the reason for that here in a minute. Um, you know, a lot of... Uh, when I rode this bike, one of the things I thought immediately was I could ride this all day long. I could ride this 700, 800 miles in a day, I betcha. And uh, with that much adjustable seating area, you should come out of it okay. You know, pretty good. Um, other things to talk about with this is... Uh, Wheelbase, 55.8 inches, that's 1,418 millimeters. The seat height, that's 32.9 inches, that's 835 millimeters. And again, that's what I was gonna talk about a minute ago. Eight, uh, 835 millimeters, but look, look how narrow this is in the front. So when you sit on the bike, throw a leg over it, you know, it's so narrow through this area that you really can get on the ground. Now, my, my feet are in the air. This is tall, but it's uh, because it's so slim, it works really well. Other thing to talk about is the fuel capacity. I think this is a four and a half gallon gas tank. Um, that's 17.2 liters. And that's another plus for this bike because that means even if you get 40 miles a gallon, that's 160, 180 miles between fills. If you get 50 miles a gallon, you know, that's 200 miles plus. That's pretty darn good. Very well done on their part. Um, other neat things about this bike that we should go look at are uh, these uh, connecting points right here are for hard bags. And I wanna show you those really quick. This model over here, this red one, this is the red by the way. But check these out. They come, these are from Triumph. I think they're locked, so I can't open them for you, but they're very nice bags. They're hard bags. You can get color matching panels on the top here. This bike does not have those. Uh, they must key lock right there. And uh, well, we'll just let that go for today. Isn't that beautiful in red? Just gorgeous. Very well done. Um, while we're over here, let's look at this real quick. So this one's been kitted out just a little bit. I think it has the driving lights. It's got... Uh, Axle protector. It's got the uh, engine protectors here. Neat thing about these type of engine protector is these actual ends are replaceable. Uh, it also has uh, the quick shifter, which I talked about a bit ago. And this has the uh, Triumph branded uh, tail end. And there's a bag you can put on the back of this. So you get side bags and then the tail bag. Isn't that just gorgeous? Let's look to see if there's anything else to look at. Other things about this model of motorcycle is all the lighting is LED, the tail light, the blinkers, the headlight, you know, just a lot of it right there. Just a gorgeous machine. So let's get up here and look at this. Um, switch gear. On this side, you know, clutch of course. Not sure what these buttons are. Blinkers, horn, mode button, uh, kill, kill and start switch, hazard switch. And then uh, let's turn this on. 
Look at that dash. TFT dash color. Got the tack on the top. Fuel gauge right there through the middle. Neutral light gear indicator over here. Um, speedometer, of course, right there. So we've got a flashing ABS light, neutral light, oil light. Every motorcycle should have an oil light. Engine light. Uh, that, I think, is mode indicator. So I think that is controlled with the mode button right down there. Let's hit that. Road, rain. It has two modes, road and rain. I wonder what that means. ABS on, traction control on, rain. Oh, I wonder why, I, I don't understand the difference. Let's look at the, uh, I'm using the joystick now to mess with that. Same thing. Okay, back to uh, trip one. Main menu, let's see what we learn here. Neutral, gear indicator, oh that's interesting, isn't it? Clock, date, fuel gauge right there, wow. I don't know what that means. I don't think this bike has cruise control, but I'm wrong. I could be wrong about that. Date, mileage, temperature gauge, look at that, that's really neat. Fuel status, there's really a lot to this, I was not aware of that. I knew about the uh, road and rain modes and all that, but uh, anyway, uh, so I was controlling all that with the joystick over here and the mode button over yonder. Now let's hit this button and see what happens. I'm not sure what that button does. We'll have to do some research on that. But isn't that a neat dash? Nice, easy to look at. I like the fact that it's got the arch. Somebody my age loves an arch and a tachometer. Um, of course, it's easy to read number. Very good, very good Triumph, good job. And I also like the physical key. I'm old enough to like that. But uh, uh, I did ride this bike. The mirrors on it were rock solid. I love the long, elongated mirrors. You can see you know, a lot wider, a lot, a lot bigger plane. Um, if I were to buy this bike, I would do the quick shifter. I'd do the bags on the bottom. I don't know if I'd do the rear luggage, but I'd definitely do the bags on, on the side here. I would do, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what else I would do. I think that might be it. Oh, heated grips, and I do the uh, protectors on the hand. I think that's all a guy would need. It's an absolutely gorgeous bike, in my opinion. Just love it. You know, look, look at that. Oh, there's another thing that I might do. They have a uh, little fairing for the bottom that uh, really looks sharp. And, you know, this is, it's called a Tiger, but it's really an or a road-oriented bike because of these 17-inch tires. And uh, with 80 horsepower, this thing would be, it's just, it's a... This would really be a uh, road scorcher, you know. This would destroy the cities and the interstate. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, if you all are interested in something like this, or a Triumph, or, you know, Scrambler, or something like this, you know, these giant tigers that we've got over here, get yourself uh, over to Baxter Cycle. New, used Royal Enfields, Triumphs, they can help you out. Hey, my friends, get out there and ride. Wahoo!